Father, we thank you for this manna water service. And we thank you for your grace, your power, your love, and might. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon us by fire, by power. And open the understanding of your children here tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a see God bless you. Last week, Mana Water Service we began to look at the mystery of voices. Our prayers today will be concentrated on this. In Exodus chapter 4, verse 8, the mystery of voices. Exodus 4, 8. And it shall come to pass. If they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first son, that they will believe the voice of the later son. Those signs had voices. They were speaking. In First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse ten. First Corinthians fourteen ten. It's good to listen to this message very carefully. There are, it may be so many kinds of voices in the world and none of them without signification there are many kinds of voices speaking in our world there are voices that are bombarding man day and night whether we like it or not we hear many voices we hear voices both day and night and as humans we are created to hear voices the bible makes us to understand that god speaks there is the voice of god there are other voices too and so human beings hear those voices the lamentable tragedy is this which is where prayer is seriously needed there are many of us we hear and listen to the wrong voices sometimes uh, we hear the right ones but we do not obey it the purposes of voices they are to direct our lives to advise us to counsel us to lead us to dominate our lives to redirect our lives and to make us do what they want us to do. Those are the purposes of voices. That's why the Bible says there is no voice without signification. Every voice has an agenda. Voices are made to direct us, to advise us, to counsel us, to lead us, to dominate our lives, to redirect our lives, to make us do what they want us to do. There are voices that speak within. 
There are voices that speak without. There are voices that speak around. Those voices may be loud or quiet. Those voices, somebody close to you may not even, will not, may not even hear them. The voices may even be in the dream. The voices may be in the heart. The voices can be through the books you are reading. The voices can be through a play you are watching. The voices can be through music. It can be through lectures. It can speak to your heart and hears and advise either positively or negatively. This is bottom line. This is why we should be ready to start praying now. The voice you listen to will determine your destiny. Moses, Moses, it was the voice of God. He listened to it. It determined his destiny. Samuel, Samuel, it was the voice of God. He listened. It determined his destiny. Tell me the secret of your power. Tell me the secret of your power. That was the voice of Delilah unto Samson. Samson listened to that voice and he tragically destroyed himself. So the voice you listen to will determine your destiny. The voice you listen to will determine your direction in life. The voice you listen to will determine your destination in life. The bottom line is that where you are now is a result of the obedience to the voices you have been listening to. What is happening in your life now or your state now is due to listening, the listening ears you gave to some voices that have been speaking to you. So the voices you hear can bring prosperity. The voices you hear can bring peace. The voices you hear can bring destruction. And people can hear physical voices, they can hear spiritual voices. But the one you now listen to is a personal choice. No one will force you to obey a particular voice. That is, you can hear so many voices. But the choice of who you obey is yours. Your ears may be blocked or open to some voices. That's what the Bible talks about some people whose ears have been blocked. The bottom line of what I'm telling you, this man of water service. So you must now program yourself and grow to the level where you can discern which voices you listen to. People have listened to strange voices and have been involved in many tragedies. Some will listen to strange voices and they will even argue with you that it's God speaking to them. Whereas what they are hearing is a strange voice. A strange voice. Somebody gave a testimony years ago. A day to the naming ceremony of his first child. He had a voice in the middle of the night. 
and the voice call his name and said go out come out and he quietly rose up from his bed wife did not see him nobody saw me the house and walked out of the street in the mid walk into the street in the middle of the night and that was the last anybody had of him until that boy was 10 years old and he came to his senses where he was what am I doing in Kano? I'm supposed to be in Lagos. Why am I roaming around here? That's why he came back. As a result of prayers that the wife had been praying in Mountain of Fire. I'm praying for somebody here. Any strange voice assigned to confuse you any strange voice assigned to steal from you any strange voice from the grave speaking against you I command them to be silenced in the name of Jesus I command them to be silenced in the name of Jesus it's time for the man Have your say, beloved. The Bible talks about the voices of angels. The Bible talks about the voices of idol worshippers. The Bible talks about the voices of mockery. They're mocking you. I'm praying for somebody here. Any mocking voice targeted against your life shall be buried tonight in the name of Jesus. Let that ever roar like thunder. The Bible talks about the voice of reproach. The Bible talks about demonic voice. Demonic voice. I told you here some time ago that we went to minister in the prison and I saw a boy in his 20s jailed for 40 years or so why? he said he raped somebody he will rape somebody they are not supposed to jail you for more than 7 years Say, Pastor, the person I rape is an 80 year old woman. 40 years jail. And you are 20 something. You are not coming out till you become an old man. But you are a handsome boy and some young man. You go, go and get a woman on the street. Why rape an 80 year old woman? He now says something to me that got me thinking. He said, A voice was telling me, Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. So then, after it was done, the voice disappeared. I'm praying for somebody here. Any voice that will redirect your destiny, that will redirect your life into destruction, let that voice be silenced in the name of Jesus. A sound will fall the man. The Bible talks about the voice of pride. The Bible talks about the voice of the Lord. And 
that is that voice of the Lord that over that overrules all other voices. Bible says, who is he who speaks? And it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. So, so it's the voice of God that has the overruling power over all voices. People talk to us on deliverance ground. They hear voices. 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 Voices trying to confuse them. Voices trying to misdirect their lives. So voices are very powerful entities. And every voice has its own meaning. You must recognize that there are many types of voices in this world. And the, the purpose of those voices is to influence us. And like I told you last week, <laughs> listening to the right voice is a master key to success. Listening to the wrong voice would be the making of tragic mistakes. The fact that somebody said, God told me. God said, God said, God said, no, does not mean that he's hearing God. There are many people who claim to be hearing God, but they are hearing strange voices from the pit of hell. There is a babel of noises confronting us every day. There is a pounding thunder of voices beating continuously on our eardrums and in our hearts. There are voices coming from beneath, from around, from above us. We're surrounded with voices. Judas had Satan's voice. He betrayed Jesus. Peter too had Satan's voice. He did not believe the voice of Jesus. Peter was rebuked. I pray that you will not hear the wrong voice in the name of Jesus. So the question is, which voice do you hear? Which voice do you follow? Which voice do you obey? Which voice is louder in your ears? We can't avoid hearing voices. But we can avoid obeying the wrong ones. So ability to discern between what is of God, what pretends to be God, what is not of God, is a master key to success. Ability to discern that this, a voice is from God or is pretended to be God and it's not God at all is a master key for you to unmask Satan's tricks. It is a master key to detect false teachers to spot the fake now that there are so many talking around us I'm a prophet I'm an apostle there are so many prophets around now so many prophetesses thousands and thousands of prophets on the mountains plenty of them all over the beaches speaking saying God said this is not an age where you should allow yourself to be deceived there is number one the voice of the Lord the voice of the Lord in categories of voices the voice that comes first 
This is the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord is the most important voice you need to hear. Say, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice, then I will come in and sup with the person. This is the most important voice you need to hear. The voice of God speaks the mind of God. It is his voice that said, follow me. I will make you a fish of man. Check up your cross and follow me. It's the, it's the voice of the Lord. The voice said, occupy it till I come. It's the voice of the Lord. The voice said, take my yoke upon me take my yoke upon you and learn of me is the voice of the Lord the voice that said will thou be made whole the voice of the Lord the voice that says prepare I'm coming is the voice of the Lord the voice that said come unto me is the voice of the Lord so the voice of the Lord is a shepherd's voice. Say, follow me. The voice of the Lord is a master's voice. Saying, occupy till I come. The voice of the Lord is a teacher's voice. Say, learn of me. The voice of the Lord is a physician voice. Which with ability to make one whole. The voice of the Lord is the voice of a friend. So open the door, I will come in and sup with you. The voice of the Lord is the Savior's voice. So come unto me. That is the most important voice we need to hear. That's why last week I sang that song here. That Jesus calls us all the tumult of our, of the, our world wide restless sea. Oh, that tumult is calling us. See, day by day, his sweet voice is sounding. Say, Christian, follow me. Follow me. I'm praying for somebody here. Anything that will block your ears from the voice of the Lord. That won't allow you to hear the voice of God. No matter how much you love that thing. I'll command it to disappear in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. So in the category of voices, the first voice at which you must learn is the voice of the Lord. And let me tell you one secret. The day you begin to hear the voice of God, that day, your progress as a Christian begins. That day is the day that your progress as a Christian begins. Anything you could do to hear God speak, do it. You run into error when you start a business without hearing his voice. You run into trouble when you get married without hearing his voice. You run into trouble when you go to where you should not go without hearing his voice. You run into trouble when you follow strange voices to where you should not go. The most important information about anything is, is there any word from the Lord? The voice of the Lord. Sometimes when the voice of the Lord speaks, 
you may not find it palatable. It may be something strange to you. You may even think it's the devil. What's the voice of the Lord? God spoke to a young pastor. He was a bachelor at that time. God spoke to him. Say, your wife is Sister Mary. But no, he wasn't interested in Sister Mary. But he loved one Sister Rhoda. A very beautiful sister. Very beautiful singer. Very beautiful sister. Say, Lord, who, who is going to marry that Mary? When she comes to she's always coughing and coughing and coughing. As, as if you would die any time from now. God said, case closed. Mary is your wife. But he was wise enough to know that it's dangerous not to listen to the voice of the Lord. So that's how he went, although he didn't like it, but this is what God said. That's how he got married to the sister Mary. Sister Rhoda also got married. But within two weeks after the wedding, Rhoda died mysteriously. Nobody knew what killed her. Then the Mary that he married it was as if it's the marriage the lady was waiting for. All her sicknesses, all her trouble just cleared away and she became very strong and very powerful in the house of the Lord. The second category of words is the voice of the flesh. This is the voice of your carnal nature. Craving for satisfaction and pleasure. This is a very serious matter. In Romans chapter 8 verse 6. Romans 8 6. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You must disobey this voice. You must disobey the voice of the flesh. Do not be like those who are controlled by the flesh. The flesh itself must be put under so that you don't obey the commandment of the flesh. Practically 99% of God said, God said, God said, it's the flesh that's talking. Many times I want to marry this, I want to marry that, but they didn't hear anything. It's the flesh that's talking. The flesh is an enemy in our camp. It has a loud voice. Very loud voice. It's a voice we must not listen to. Jesus said the flesh profited nothing. It is the spirit that quickened it. The third voice in the category of voices is the voice of the mind. The voice of the mind. This is the voice of your thought processes. The, the thought of your reasoning. 
if your mind is not transformed by the power of God if your mind is not regenerated by the power of God listening to your mind is a disaster so listen to unregenerated your unregenerated mind is a disaster this is a year that out of those three verses I've just covered you should focus on number one Savior let me hear your voice I want to hear your voice I don't want to be hearing the voice of the enemy there are evil voices that are controlling men day and night. Number four, the voice of the enemy. The voice of the enemy. Many people have heard the voice of the enemy and they have been destroyed. I'm praying for such people that every voice of the enemy that has pushed you to a level that you are now that the Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus the voice of the enemy the enemy has spoken many into destruction has spoken many into danger spoken many into evil things our enemies are not our friends they are there to steal to kill and to destroy I was in our church in Abeokuta they brought a medical student to see me but I noticed they were holding him by the left and by the right and they brought him to my office his face looked very calm he greeted me well and I greeted him as well but I found that those people held tight one, one held tight to the right and one held tight to the left hand and I, and I said but why are you holding him I said leave him leave him so they left him all of a sudden he ran out of the office. <laughs> Only God saved us that day. Because he didn't even look at the traffic. He just ran across the street. Those men went after him. And brought him back. And I said, oh. so what, is this what he does? So, sir, yes, that is why we follow him about. That's why we were holding his hand. And I said, young man, why did you run out of this place? He says, sir, I, I, I'm hearing the voice. Say, run. 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 And the voice did not keep quiet. And he ran. Voices from the grave. Voices from the coven voices that is aimed at destruction can you raise up your right hand and with the best aggression you can gather shout this prayer at the top of your voice shout it at the top of your voice and when you shout at the top of your voice because now you are you are addressing voices of the grave there shall be results. Can you shout this loud and clear? Voices from the grave! I am not your candidate! Damn! In the name of Jesus! Our voice is loud and clear. In Jesus' 
Jesus name we pray two more times the same prayer voices from the grave my life is not for sale Death! in the name of Jesus Continue, continue. Don't stop, don't stop. Bapot hasatali kaya boshanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and shout it again. Thank you, Jesus. name we pray have you said for a few more minutes beloved there is voice of the lost of the eyes there is the voice of what people think about you that is what is harassing you every day what they think what they think, what they are saying, what they think, what they are saying. Whether you do well, they will speak against you. If you do bad, they speak against you. If you don't do anything, they speak against you. And everybody is entitled to their own opinion. But their own opinion about your life has no effect on your destiny unless you allow it to affect your own destiny. So what they say, if you allow it to affect your mentality, then you are listening to the wrong voice. Those who are trying to abuse you, saying the worst of ridicule, worst of insult towards you, is a voice. A voice. That's and the purpose of that voice is to get you into trouble. So it's you who manage yourself. So their voices will not put you into trouble. I was teaching in the school many years ago as a biology teacher. And at the when we closed from school, I gather the students together in scripture, you know, we pray together, we read the Bible before they go home. We used to have a woman vice principal in that school. She dresses gorgeously to school every day as if she was she goes to a party. So one day I think she was trying to harass one of the students in the student union. And I said, ah, Madam, leave, leave, leave her alone. She's in the fellowship at that time. And the woman looked at me up and down. She, see, see this one. Everything is wearing. It's not more than 15 naira. And I now looked at myself. So, ah, it's true. Because the shirt was three, three, three naira. Trouser, five naira. And the shoe sanders. Well, I quickly did my calculation. It was 12 naira. I said, Madam, you are correct. <laughs> it's, it's not up to 15 naira. You look at me and say, You see, you see? They're not ashamed. Simply because our words had no effect. 
in my life. That is the voice of laziness. Pray. Refuse to pray. Walk out. Refuse to walk out. Read. You don't want to read. Get to a level of your education. Year one. Year two. In the university. Some of you to sit down and finish your course. Just wake up one morning and say, I am playing football. I'm reading music. When the degree you have started, you did not finish. It's the voice of laziness. That is the voice of fear. Voice of anger. That is the voice of deceit, which many ladies listen to. As the voice of circumstances. As the voice of the cares of this world. As the voice of desire for money. Many people erroneously think that with plenty of money they will be happy. It's an evil voice. That's the voice of the world and the pleasures thereof. That's the voice of the enemy. That's a groaning voice. And many voices like this. Troubling people. Voice of Satan. Voice of false prophets. Voice of false friends. Voice of your foundation. Meaning that God said to me, God said to me, God said to me. <laughs> Who come from at least 30, 30 departments, 30 voices. That is the voice of the gifts. The gift you give, your 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 gift, your ties, your offering, they all have voices. God said, Cornelius, the offering you are giving has spoken in heaven. So God does not only hear our prayers, He also hears the gift we give. There is a voice in our gifts in your tithe in your offering in the seed you sow that is as powerful as the voice of our prayers Abraham's gift spoke for him Abel's gift spoke for him God promises not to hold anyone who invests on him because their gifts speak to them See what it wrote in Proverbs chapter 19. Verse 17. Proverbs 19:17. He that had pity upon the poor lended unto the Lord. Is God you are lending the money? And that which he had given, will he pay him again? That is the voice of the gifts. There is the voice of our works. Everything we're doing is talking. Every work you do, whether good or bad, speaks. It has a voice. Cast monies, such as bribes, they have voices. We must be very careful which voice we hear. Make up your mind here tonight that you will pray aggressively to yourself into the voice of God and also dismantle other evil voices from your destiny Christ to your feet now all eyes closed but you see if you are here 
you are not born again. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. In the prayers we are going to start praying just now, you will not be able to benefit from those prayers because you need to become a friend of God before you begin to benefit from the prayers. So wherever you are, say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Find a way quickly to the altar here. Jesus is waiting for you here. If you are the altar, I congratulate you. Bow down your head. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Say that short prayer with me. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here who have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me. God bless you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just follow this pastor for one or two minutes and you can join us later. God bless us to do so. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah! The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah! The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. All eyes closed. There are serious prayers to pray. And pray from your heart. These are prayers to silence evil voices. And to connect you to the voice of God. But if you are in this meeting, you have an infirmity. And the doctors have told you, there is no cure. You just have to live with it. Find a way to this altar and be on your knees. And when you're on your knees, pray the way you have never prayed before. Doctors have spoken. That is the voice of the doctor. But there's an overruling voice that overrules all voices. It is unto that voice we want to cry now. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Please, I'm begging you. Whether you understand the prayer or not, let your voice be the loudest here. I am hack of God. Can you shout it loud? Is that the loudest who can declare it? Therefore, every dragon before me fall down there in the name of Jesus. Yes. I am a 
work of God. Every dragon before me fall down and die. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at this altar, stretch out your right hand. Father, let your miracle power and your healing power fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Let the influence of any voice of infirmity be silenced now in the name of Jesus. Let this hand carry the fire of the anointing in the name of Jesus. I'm going to count 10 from here. Smite your head aggressively. Don't feel sorry for that head as you smite. Your head is a symbol of your destiny. One. Something is happening already. Two. Serpent is crawling out. My long awaited breakthroughs. Hear the word of the Lord. Manifest my fire in the name of Jesus. Getting the breakthrough. In Jesus' name, we pray. With a voice that is loud and clear. Oh God, arise! Give me a miracle that will bring out all my hidden miracles. Give me a miracle that will bring out all my hidden miracles. Sisters, can you shout it after me? Oh God, arise! Give me a miracle that will bring out all my hidden miracles. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, voice of the Lord. Arise. Shake the enemy out of my destiny. Can I hear you shouting this? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray you now have to change your level of praying don't care who is beside you just cry unto God yourself as more angels are coming into the midst as you pray this next miracle giving prayer if you are in this meeting and prosperous people you notice they die early in your family find a way to this altar to stand in gap for that family once they are well to do they die very quickly find a way to this altar everybody will now shout these prayers loud Burst! Kill my good news. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth. Bakapote setele ke yabo shendera ba. Ribo sapoli katende yabo shenda. In Jesus' name we pray. Say power, sir. Speaking to evil altars because of me. Can you say it loud? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. because of me catch fire in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray strong groom of darkness tie me down Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, bondage is saying, I will not go far. Can I hear the sisters shouting this? Sisters, I want you to be more aggressive. Let the brothers roar like thunder. Everybody together now. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Bondage is 
that are saying I will not go far. Jesus name we pray by the bulldozing power of the Holy Ghost anything blocking your way of breakthrough anything blocking your way of unending laughter I command them to die in the name of Jesus any pattern of darkness that has enveloped you so far is broken in the name of Jesus it's broken it's broken it's broken it's broken it's broken light are ever like thunder it's broken it's broken it's broken the pattern of darkness is broken in the name of Jesus the breakthroughs you are going to be having shall be greater than any other breakthrough you have had in the name of Jesus all the voices of error be silenced in the name of Jesus. And any power threatening your existence is buried completely in the name of Jesus. Now with a tenfold amen to this prophecy that every amen assigned to kill you shall die in your place in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus Bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting place. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. Good measures. Press down, falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. Lay your hands upon your children, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's bring out our manna water, please. And let your amen roar like thunder as I pray on this water. Father, in the name of Jesus. The amen is not loud enough. Father, in the name of Jesus. We commit this manna water unto your holy hands. Let your mysterious power your strange power your yoke breaking power your breakthrough magnetizing power flow into this water in the name of Jesus let this water pull down every stronghold of darkness in the name of Jesus let this water pull down every stronghold of infirmity in the name of Jesus let this water pull down every stronghold of stagnancy in the name of Jesus you water receive the fire of God, receive the power of God, receive the fire, receive the power, receive the fire, receive the power, receive the fire, receive the power, receive the fire, receive the power in the name of Jesus. As many as we engage with this water, let them have uncommon testimonies in the name of Jesus. And I sanctify, dedicate, consecrate, and bless this water. The name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, the Lord blesses you from Zion and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
you shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory father all the prayer requests are answered them by fire let every writer of the prayer request become candidate of uncommon testimonies in the name of Jesus see you father be the glory in Jesus mighty name we pray and let us share the grace in fellowship.